So what is cumulative delta? Just like how we showed you on the dome, how there's the bids and the offers, the buyers and the sellers. We can see that with this delta tool, but we're seeing it cumulatively. So over a bunch of prices, right? We're seeing the difference between trades transacted at the bid versus the ask or the offer. So let's say that five trades transact that bid, 10 trades transact that offer. It would be plus five, the delta would be showing us, right? The bids subtracted by the offer. So if we look at the trend of this over time, we can see uh, sometimes where institutions are buying, we can see absorption and we can see the trend of a market. So a healthy market should follow price. So just like how we see here, this is natural, where we'll see the markets moving up, Delta's moving up, markets moving lower, Delta should be following it lower as well. So this is a natural moving market. There's not too much to be gained from looking at this, right? What we want to find is when Delta doesn't do what price does. And that's when we get really key, key information. So let's look at this example right here. Now we see that the market's starting to come into balance. It's starting to chop or have a little bit of a consolidation moving sideways. But what happens with the Delta? The Delta is just slamming lower, lower, lower. So just like we talked about with the depth, with the bids and the offers, what is that telling us? More trades are transacting at bid. So that means we have more limit buyers absorbing price here. But markets exist for one reason, and that's to facilitate trade. So we know that there has to be a buyer for every seller. But this just means that more trades transacting at bid. So we have buyers absorbing, sellers trying to push, push, push into them. And by price moving sideways, this is what's showing us a little bit more of who's actually taking control here. Now, it doesn't, cumulative delta is not a standalone system. So although we see that, okay, more trades are trading into bid, we see some absorption here, then it pops up. It doesn't mean that we can always just buy here, right? Because they can get it wrong too. We don't know who's going to get it right. So cumulative delta is not a standalone system. For me, what I use is I use order flow to give me the trigger. So I may have a signal that comes up. Okay. I see some absorption, but until I get that trigger, until I see offers start lifting in here uh, with size, letting me know that the buyers are taking out the sellers, that would be a trigger to execute into a long trade. Right? Obviously with this kind of a movement here, we got very, very overextended and we pulled back, but I just really want you guys to know that you're going to see a lot of reversals here. Some of the stuff's going to look amazing, but it's not uh, something that you can just go out and trade by itself.